Hey, what's up guys? John here. You will not believe what is happening right now inside of California. And unfortunately, it doesn't just stop in California. It's not just LA and San Francisco. It's happening in 187 other cities all throughout America. We are witnessing something huge over the next six years. And unfortunately, 99% of the population is completely asleep and they're focused on every distraction outside of what's really happening, which is our new reality that's being built right before our eyes. Everyone's talking about these small little things, but in a week or two weeks, people forget about everything, right? Pay attention to this, because if you're a property owner, if you're a business owner, if you're a renter and you wanna own property, pay attention to what the future looks like to position yourself and your family for what is gonna be the greatest wealth transfer of all time. We're watching the middle class get completely decimated. Please hit the like button. When you hit the like button, YouTube is gonna share this content to educate more people on the things that matter, which is this and other information I'll provide here on this channel. Every time you hit the like button, YouTube will share this video with one other person. So please do your part. Also, today's video is sponsored by greatcreditfast.com. If you want to fix your credit to position yourself, for this great wealth transfer, we'd love to help you and give you a free consultation at greatcreditfast.com. Now take a look at this. This website, C40. I've mentioned this website once in the past, but I've done more and more and more research on what's actually going on here and where this is headed. Look at this. So you can, first I'm gonna just show you who the funders are. So you can kind of get an idea of if this is credible, if this is real. Uh, UK government, right? And also what's on this website, I actually match it with California law so we can kind of see exactly what's going on to make sure that, you know, this is actually what's going on. It's not just some random fly by night website, even though it's not, because you got the UK government, you got IKEA, you got L'Oreal, you got Hewlett Foundation, uh, you got Oak Foundation, you got George here, you know, he's got his impact all throughout America right now. Uh, you got FedEx, you got some big players, right? So this isn't some type of fly by night operation. You got Hillary, uh, you got the World Bank. So it, it's credible. Now, let's take a look at a few different little notes here. The first is uh, energy and buildings. Energy and buildings, they say that they need, the need for buildings and infrastructure will intensify by 2025, they're gonna need to build a building, uh, 1 billion new homes, a billion new homes. About 60% of all that will exist haven't been built yet by 2050, right? So they need to construct a city the size of Stockholm or Milan every week until 2050, with this, or a city the size of Singapore or New York every month, right? And so you ask, like, how are they going to do this? Well, they're going to implement and enforce building energy regulations and mandatory performance standards for existing buildings. So I don't see how that would allow them to, you know, hit those targets. But unless they're, they're talking about maybe some properties or they start maybe using eminent domain, maybe not, maybe not. But I don't know how people are going to be doing, how people are going to afford these mandatory performance standards for existing buildings, including measures to reduce embodied emissions. Um, but they're gonna, they, they're gonna need to bring forward a hell of a lot of inventory. So you're like, okay, well, how are you gonna bring all this inventory to the market? I don't know, right? So I started doing some research, kind of looking at this. I'm like, let's look at some of these cities and see kind of like where this map is located. So you click on North America and you're, you can scroll around. Look, we got Miami here, but you click around North America and you're like, let's click on Los Angeles. And you look at all the pledges that Los Angeles has already agreed to. I mean, they're talking about completely, completely restructuring and changing everything that you know about LA. You could even click on this equity pledge, right? Remember uh, about two years ago, Newsom's like, we're not going back to normal because normal accepts inequity, right? That's what he said. He says, the governor further explained his comment, normal accepts inequity by elaborating that inequity was the reason that Latinos were passing away, right? So when you start to kind of like match this up and you start to look at some of these changes, I mean, it is pretty, pretty incredible what they're gonna do. And then you start to look at some of these other things that are happening in California and you're like, oh, they plan to build 500,000 new homes in the next six years. You're like, that's a lot of property. I mean, how many, how many housing units are in, are in LA County? You got 1.5 million, right? So you're talking about adding 20, 25% of the housing stock inside of six years. Then I'm like, hmm, many people might say that's a great thing because if you add a lot of housing units, then prices would come down. But what people don't realize is that if you were to add that many housing units and most landlords own their properties and they bought these properties, they have 5%, 7%, 8% returns. I mean, if they've held them for a long time, if they're lucky, they have those types of returns. When you start to bring forward immense housing stock, you're gonna to start to see rents continue to fall. 
and if rents are falling and mortgage rates went from 3% to 7% and then you have these mandatory property upgrades that are coming forward, how are people going to be able to you know, stay in compliance is the big question. I'm like, well, that, that might just be LA. Let's look at San Francisco. San Francisco is about 400,000 uh, total housing units in 2020. You know, they lost a bunch of people. Maybe they have 380,000, 350,000, whatever the number is, right? But they, they, they're saying they're going to build 82,000 housing units inside of the next six and a half years as well. So they're going to increase their housing stock by 20% or 25%, right? You're like, okay, well, let's look at kind of like how this whole thing plays out. And we start to see things in a very interesting light. So LA apartment rents are down 6%. 6% they're down. Their vacancy rate in Los Angeles, office buildings, 30%, right? So you have 30% of the every building completely vacant. Then you start to look at, go to whitehouse.gov and you're like, okay, let's kind of like scroll around here and see if any of this stuff kind of connects. Well, they've set out a goal to reduce homelessness by 25% by 2025. And they're talking about the entire state of California. So how are they gonna do this? Well, big problems are coming. Like you go to this website or this uh, Twitter, Dennis Block, and this guy's evicted, evicted like 200,000 people in LA. He's been an eviction attorney for decades. Um, but he's just posted no rent increase until 20, in 2024, February 1st, right? This is for uh, rent stabilized, uh, rent control properties in LA, which is most rental units. Then you have uh, ULA, this mansion tax. So now got, this got a lot of attention and this all connects well. So this mansion tax they said was to, you know, give the city funding to combat homelessness. But what actually happened was they said, if you have a property, it, whether it be a single family home, a condo, commercial property, farmland, whatever it may be, um, any type of residential or any type of sale of property, five million to ten million will get a four and a half percent tax, and anything above ten million will get a five and a half percent tax. Well, what they've ended up doing is siphoning this money to then start to bring it forward for legal tenant defense for tenants, which matches up perfectly well with trying to reduce homelessness, right? So they're taking money from the wealthy or the people that have expensive properties to fund this situation, which is pretty crazy because people that have expensive properties generally have rentals. So they're taking tax revenue from them and then using it against them. But this is the world we live in. Now you have San Francisco's vacancy rate at 31%. And uh, you start, you're starting to obviously hear about the commercial real estate problem, but look at how this is all kind of moving forward. LA County, they just signed this in, this wildlife ordinance, which will greatly reduce the amount of square footage that you're able to build uh, in some of the most prime areas in Los Angeles. They say it's for the environment. They're stripping wealth. That's what they're doing. They're stripping wealth from the citizens. You know, California lost 700,000 residents since 2020. And, uh, and this whole thing is gonna change everything. Like that, that's what we're witnessing right now. We're witnessing such a massive change that I think a lot of people can't comprehend just how big this is. Like they're, when you just go to right here, we can just look at transportation. You look at transportation, they want to make transit, walking, cycling, that's preferred option, right? Implementing restrictions on high polluting vehicles. You think about this, even if you look at like their, the, they even have like a diet plan. It's like you go here and you click on like food systems. They want to move everything uh, to like a planetary diet. So one third of all food is wasted, yet many Many people around the world would suffer from food insecurity. Food is among the largest drivers in the global climate crisis. So, I mean, they're talking about property upgrades. They're talking about uh, food. They're talking about transportation. They're talking about uh, inequity, all these different things. But what people need to really understand is that they all come to a head and it all comes to everyone's wealth. Right, so if you are in California, if you live in California, I mean, you don't have to live in California, you can live anywhere because you look at their cities. I mean, it's, these are the ones that have already signed, but if you go to North America and you just scroll down in, uh, inside of North America, you have tons and tons and tons of cities that are already signed on and 187 other cities that are not at the same exact caliber, but they're getting there where they've already signed on to small pledges. Um, but over time, I believe those cities are gonna start to commit more and more and more. But you know, Washington, you got Seattle, San Fran, Portland, Phoenix, Philly, New York City, New Orleans, uh, Miami, LA, Houston, Chicago, Boston, Austin. I mean, you're witnessing something big here. But you know, it's you know, what else is very interesting is they also said that uh, 
if you go here and you click on um, you can click on what we do you can click on energy and buildings you can scroll down here and then you can look at see even China's uh, building programs and you can kind of see that even what they're doing is very very similar to what we're doing so people think that you know we're not stepping into a world of change and we're not gonna see anything big happen and I've been talking about some problems on the horizon I stick to it I think we're stepping into some problems but I think smart and savvy people are positioning and preparing for these changes in advance. They're getting out of high interest rate consumer credit card debt and other debt. They're just positioning themselves. They see the world of change and they realize 99% of people don't. So if you are that 1% that sees this change ahead, plan ahead, plan in advance for this. Drop your comments below. Let's have a conversation about this. I believe we're in the greatest wealth transfer of all time and you and I are gonna be able to see some of it because we see what's really going on. Subscribe here if you'd like and uh, add me on IG for short form content. I won't post anywhere else. And if you need help fixing credit, we'd love to help position you for success in the future at greatcreditfast.com. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.